1,160. How's it going? Thank you. Oh, of course. wanting to do this for a minute now just keep forgetting so but i want to do a little miniature giveaway visit vbeltandsun.com any order you place i'm going to throw in a little trinket memento i got all kinds of hats left over brand new different dealers manufacturers and this and that and i can only i, I wear one hat and honestly one hat i kind of wear it till it dies out or i lose it somewhere and also i'm going to throw in some of those lost and found hats of my own that are still perfectly fine but, you know, long night, like something, shop, you end up leaving the hat behind and it gets dust on it. So I'm going to throw a couple of those dust-free hats in there just as a giveaway. And also I got a couple other randoms, little cutouts for the hubs on an old cowboy truck for, you know, the manual hubs. Actually got two sets of these, so there'll be four of those given away. And I remember to save these. This is the fuel cutout filler neck off of my new truck, the... 22 5500 and i also somehow have the one for grandma so i'm gonna throw this in there neat little souvenirs you guys are fans of the channel check out vbeltandsun.com after the video and order something and hey, we're gonna make a dump run i don't know if i'm gonna regret it or not but 97 12 valve fully restored truck towing dump run just light material trash but the trailer itself weighs around 7700 pounds <laughs> seven in one of these older trucks which is kind of funny because normally people take the 12 valve out of these to put in the newer trucks they think they can go back and forth these engines will generate a bunch of power reliable power if you do it right or it'll just make good fun power like this one does and we're just going to run a little experiment but the thing you got to understand is there's just not enough truck in play here to too much. Oh boy. She allowed. These new windshield wipers, they're, they're rotten. Only a year old. Rotten. Let's see if we get four. Got that low end tractor pull out of 12 valve. Modern trucks don't really have too much grunt down in the hole like that, but again, I'd consider this a heavy load for this truck, light load for anything else I got. Kind of set this truck up so it could be a nice little tow rig. Got the gooseneck ball, airbags, it's got one of these brakes for your exhaust. Oh, we got here. What time is it? Transfer station opens at 8, 7.56. We got a diamond sea buddy right there. Oh, that's cool. I got yelled at the last time I was here, but it actually was that guy right there. That's the guy that yelled at me. <laughs> he wanted to get in an argument on a Sunday morning. Let's see what he says this time. But basically, they have inbound scales. You go through those, clock in, go dump your load, go out the outbound scale, clock out, pay, leave. But if they're busy, they'll let you slide in the outbound to clock in and it skips, I don't know, what do you say, there's probably 40 cars, and you skip all those guys, and basically, we'll say mini buddy Diamond C right here, he'll be clocking in as you're leaving if you do something like that. Buck and Bronco, Buck and Bronco, slash that, go this way. Put your tires on the scale with that guy. <laughs> he comes back and his bill is high. Ford says he weighs 8,000 with a load of chairs in the back. I think that's what our trailer weighs. I'm going to guess total load 15,330 is my guess. Trailer hasn't got on yet. 15,7. Oh man, that's close. Oh man, it's almost 16,000. 16. 
How's it going? Yeah. No. Thank you. Oh, of course. So I didn't want to shut it off. It was acting up the other day. Oh. Go shut it off again. Guys might have heard the audio on it. Grandma's truck didn't want to start putting any starter on it the other day. Now you've got an electrical gremlin. It's not the ignition, something in the relay box. Back up truck, I don't care. Let's see if we can get up here and find a slot. There's a lot of brand new pickups. Not saying they're old timers or nothing driving them, but it's funny when they show up and deal with all this hassle for one garbage can, an armload of prunings. Look how long the wait is. Cut it, follow it. No, the other way. 500 pounds, junk. I left the house right at exactly an hour ago. One of those is a gear. NB5600, man. How many times I've tried to go to third and got first? Tried to go to third and got fifth. Oh, tall gear. Oh, it's got tow mirrors there, it's not flipped up. As sweet as old trucks are, it's honestly, to tow an empty trailer, they act like they're towing a full trailer. New truck just flat out does not care when it's an empty trailer. It doesn't care if it's got 15,000 pounds on it, which it shouldn't because it's quite a bit more advanced than this truck. Now, I still got to hand it to the folks back in the day working at Dodge, Chrysler, whatever. To go ahead and put a tractor engine in a diesel, well, I mean, it's in a pickup. Tractor engine, diesel pickup, generator engine. Just a slow turning torque monster all mechanical standalone all it needs is a starter electricity to fire it up and a solenoid for the fuel and that sucker will run for his whole life self-contained until 12 hours or something else pretty thing slick all said and done we made it home frustrating i looking at job pulled over here chatting on the phone shut the truck off because sure i don't know why and then it did the same thing it did the other day at the dump and i just put a new starter in this thing and acting up so i'm gonna have to get the old you know we gotta go underneath her and then run across the terminals see if we can get this thing fixed up a little bit uh, see if i can get you guys in there because this is super super jank and not ideal make sure your truck's in neutral boys And I've had to do that several times now. Normally you just tap on it a bunch and it'll get it to start, but 
I'm just gonna park this thing. I got too much else going on. Don't worry about it right now. Just don't shut it off till we get home. I guess that's the deal. Coming out. I turned up the smoke. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get grandma's truck fired up. Honestly, it's been a minute. By the way, the bad cherry keychains are on the website. Be Belt and Sun and those little, little throw-in prizes. You can buy a keychain, I'll throw in something with it. But let's see if we can get down to the nitty gritty and figure out what's going on with grandma's truck and why it's not wanting to start every time I touch the starter. So, me and my boy changed out the starter actually. And that, uh, I, the new one works, but periodically it doesn't work full time so got a couple ideas we're gonna chase some wiring Let's see if you crank right sometimes it cranks for no problem sometimes it'll yep then you gotta come on baby or you gotta go underneath with your leather man and give it a give it a jinky jink starters clap we gotta get to well bring some light into here watch come on baby and it's not my foot pedal thing because i disconnected that thing at one point too Actually, you know what? I think I might have an idea what it could be, but we'll get down to the shop. Well, 55 minutes later, tappy, 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 happy. Go into gear, left hand. It fired up. So this truck, if you guys remember, was actually a factory automatic truck. And either the wire going down to trigger the starter, we got corruption midline, maybe, or the park or neutral safety switch wire, um, it's come loose. Normally I just loop that, solder, shrink, and it's good to go. But we'll go down here and find out. You know, I don't want to crawl around in the gravel one. I got the option of the cool chop with the slab. All right. This little dogger had been the problem before. The little heat shrink solder just didn't bind together. Is that our problem again? No way. It's loose. You mother. Is it that simple? No. Am I going to have to put just a wire nut on this thing? Unbelievable. It is loose. Yep. What the? Heck? I've never had one of these fail until it failed the first time on this. And then it failed the second time on this. Just help me really understand that. It can't. What the? Well, that clearly could be an issue, but they were all jack strawed together. Well, <laughs> these have never failed me. All right, well, anyway, let's go up to the top and get a wing nut. Okay, I just have those two butted together. And again, this might be a simple fix, might be more involved, but got the test light down there. So if that thing lights up, that's on the stud for the starter. So that means power's going through it. No kidding. No kidding. All right, let's try it again. Well, I'm glad it's simple and it's been that problem every time, but I juiced up a new starter, put it in there. I don't even know what I did with the old one. Okay, well, let's go over here to the parts department and explore, well, it's not parts department. We already went through the parts department and put the new starter on it. I really don't like putting these down there. But let's be honest, I've never had one of those fail either. What do you say? Put one of these on there and shrink wrap the old girl. Because we got that option too, right there. And then we have old, not so trusty, Red Lightning down here, who kind of does the job, but not really. Prefer the corded option because, well, it delivers a lot more BTUs. But you put this little deflector thing. Come on. A little loosey goose. Put that thing on there so it actually gets something done. And we'll do the right thing and heat shrink it. Well, just went to war with that thing. Three different crimps didn't fit. Ended up taking off the little plastic thing, which you don't need anyway since I'm putting heat shrink over the top of it. Braided them together, you know, like a little kid, little girl. And squeezed everything I had onto the pliers, crimped it together, and then rolled it over, crimped it again, and then he shrinked it. So, uh, if that don't work, man, we got problems. 
Moment of truth. You know what's really funny about that? Is when I put all the wiring and everything back together on grandma's truck and was gonna fire up the new engine, when it start, I'm chasing wires, I'm checking all kinds of those, you know, switches that I told you could be the issue. And come to find out, it was one of those crimp connectors wasn't holding that wire together. The end of the original starter cable wire thing was all kinds of destroyed. And so I was like, well, I'll just do the, you know, smart thing, preventative ahead of time, put a new end on it. And well, it's been like a year since I finished the truck and it just started giving me those issues. Ah, month, month ago, something like that. That's how long ago that video where it left me hanging out there that you're watching now, that I haven't driven it since because I just didn't trust it. And it ended up being that. Let's go take it for a drive. All right, I'm gonna start answering the question of why I haven't done any second gen content, but I'm gonna elaborate on a few things that are going on in the shop. This is one of the first weeks I've been in the shop in the longest time because it's just been so flat out busy. 97 12 valve is my grandma's old truck. She pretty much ran it into the ground and I did a multi multi video restoration process on this. It took me about two years and the truck is by far the most awesome 12 valve I've ever had. And I put the most money into that thing. But just to elaborate, this is literally the same truck right here. Like literally the same truck. 97 12 valve, but this one was a five speed. So it's got, you know, man's mission and a little bit more factory horsepower. This is not gonna be a second gen anymore. It's gonna be, like I said in the live feed, under that 66. So I'm gonna get in the truck, we'll do a little driving, and I'm gonna elaborate on the plans. Ah, what a treat it is to have the truck actually firing up. Built the confidence a little bit. Sounds funny, what the heck is that? I can make a Ford joke, but apparently people are sensitive to that. The Ford jokes, FYI, are an inside joke between my buddy and I. Um, I wouldn't say he's a diehard Ford guy, but he owns a Ford. So whenever I make those jokes, it's not really pointed at you guys, and I'm not trying to fall back on my words, but him and I have had those Ford jokes for the longest time, and he's one of my better buddies, I'll tell you that much. The 12 valve saga, why I haven't been doing that stuff? Well, there hasn't really been any 12 valve stuff to do because I got this really serious condition where I'm an adult and I'm very busy because I'm trying to achieve stuff and I'm not just, you know, frogging around doing these second gens just for YouTube. Got a day job. Got to deliver. So the second gen content on this YouTube channel, I guess it's brought in a lot of you followers and I really appreciate that. But at the end of the day, the V-Belt and Son channel initially started because I wanted it to grow a name of my dad. His nickname, I wanted it to be something. And that was work-related stuff. And honestly, the fake world YouTube has blended together a lot better with my real life, with the work aspect of things. Like I've, I've never, you know, promoted and gotten big goals knocked off the list with this second gen Dodge stuff. I've had a couple kicks here and there, a couple kicks there, but it hasn't amounted to anything as far as with equipment and trailer and manufacturer side of things. It has opened up some serious doors and I've met a lot of good people through it. So that's why I kind of want to continue the V-Belt and Sun channel in that manner because it's had a lot more success. And I'm not saying that's closing the doors on the second gen stuff and I haven't ever. But realistically, there just hasn't been any second gen content to pick up because I haven't done any. At the end of the day, the channel's been based on my dad and I right from the get, but then realistically, the guy that does the filming and editing and all the stuff, the channel, I'm filming my daily routine. So that's why, let's get fifth gear here. That's why we haven't had second gen kind of stuff. And I don't know if I really want to do any more rebuilds on these trucks because they're very time consuming and I've probably done 20 plus of them. Know them inside and out, but I want to incorporate those and the other stuff. And there just was simply not enough traction on this channel 
with the old school muscle. Nobody really grabbed onto that, and those are hard to get, and I feel pretty proud that I have some of those. Um, some people were complaining that it's, they like watching the second gen stuff because they're more affordable. That's true. That's why I started doing second gen stuff because I could afford getting them. And through the process of flipping and restoring those, making the YouTube videos on them, uh, I was able to save up enough money because I keep my play money and work money kind of separate. Got enough play money that I can afford some of those old school kind of rigs and I was really hoping those would grab on this channel and they just simply did not. And I didn't feel like wasting your guys' time or mine by posting them on a channel that was directed more trucks and definitely tractors. So, long story short, I know I went on a rant the other day with a live feed, but I wanted to sum that up in a, I would say, a less professional or more professional manner. Just, you know, on my own time, just driving grandma's truck. So, green truck had some real good traction. But grandma's truck was way more detailed, way more expensive, and it had less. I'm not saying that the money was influencing what I was doing. It just, at one point, you just go, can't keep going down that road. It just, you know, ain't quite got what I need. So I'm going to enjoy the couple I have now and rock and roll with those. But, shoot. I'm not saying it's the end of the year, but I'd like to do more review stuff rather than restore stuff on here and towing videos and all that because it's a lot more fun for me but the restore process and never all that it's going to be on old school stuff for a while because i got a lot of those built up and hopefully you guys join on the other channel if not i'm just going to continue having fun making my videos and kind of ignore the the view count and just make them for fun like it used to be thank you guys for watching if you like this video like it you don't have to subscribe, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.